yearned value analysis it is an industry standard method of measuring a project's progress at any given point in time like forecasting its completion date and also the final cost and uh, analyzing the variances in the schedule and also the budget as the project proceeds so this is what the definition of a yearned value analysis so it mainly concentrating on schedule and also budget so we will be considering schedule performance index and also like a cost performance index so that we will see how to do in primavera so for that i am just going for project so enterprise projects and here we can just go for a new project so i am just going to open the new project and for this example i am just going to consider only one activity so with the duration of 10 days okay and for this i am also going to assign a new resource so for that enterprise i am just going for a resources and i am just going to put a collapse all and after you can keep the cursor to the last resource and you can able to go for adding a new resource and it will be coming under that and you can make use of this left and then we can just go for general for detail in detail it is like a labor resource and i'm just going for unit per price and we can able to like set the calendar i'm just going to choose as it is 5 cross 10 this is what the project calendar also now i'm just going for unit and prices and here i'm just taking like a maximum unit per time and then the standard rate so standard rate i'm just going to put 100 per hour now this resource we are going to assign to the activity okay so i'm just going for activity and then resource and i'm just going for add resource the resource that we have created now i'm just going to double click it now we have added so budgeted unit like depends on the duration so 10 days into 10 hours so 100 hours okay now after this just i'm just going to schedule now so schedule on 20th january like to 7 am so 7 am you can able to like use this cursor and then i'm just going to schedule it now after the first schedule we are going to create a baseline so project maintain baseline add save a copy and select it and then initial planning baseline type and i'm just going to close it assigning the baseline so that baseline you can able to select okay now you can go for bars and you can able to specify the project baseline and this is what the yellow color bar we have that is for baseline now i am just going to update the progress of this activity for example i am just clicking the activity i am just going for status so i am just going to put this the started and we have completed 50 percentage once you put 50 percentage here you can able to see the date here see it is like 26 january but in actual it is like uh, the next activity or uh, this activity going to complete only on 28th so the next activity it will be resume on 29th morning 7 am so for that i am just going for schedule and it's supposed to put on 26 or 27 okay now i am just going to start with the 29 actual it is like a delayed and 7 am okay once i put that in uh, current data date in schedule now i am just going to put schedule then we can able to see the schedule percentage complete so activity percentage complete only we have input now schedule percentage complete will come after the schedule now i am just clicking schedule now we can able to see that schedule percentage complete is 70 percentage but activity percentage complete is only 50 percentage then we will be having the schedule performance index and then there we can able to see the value and we will update the cost also and then we will go for it now uh, here i am just going to update the actual if it is like 50 then actual it should be like a 5000 but actual it is like a 7000 so it won't come actually so you can try again it will come otherwise you can close and you can come back
so now in this now we can able to update so it has to be like 5000 so the remaining automatically are getting updated but as per the actuals we are just going to put a uh, 7500 so actual remaining it should be like 5000 so at complete we will be getting 12500 so now i am just going to schedule it with the 29th and 7 am schedule now the schedule performance index and the cost performance index it is just a zero so for that i am just going for project and then wbs and in wbs i am also going for the technique for computing estimate to complete so here you should always choose the third option pf equal to one by cost performance index and we should consider technique for computing performance percent complete this should be activity percent complete so these two is important now I am just going for a activity. Now we can able to see the schedule performance index and also the cost performance index. Now we can able to judge from this, like uh, this is like a uh, out of schedule. If it is less than one, we can say it is like out of schedule and the cost performance index also, if it is like less than one, it is like a out of budget. If it is like more than one, it is like within budget. So this is what like a yearned value analysis. So by default, we will be not having this column. So we can just go for customizing columns and we can able to search from here, find, and you will be available with it. And you can able to use this arrow to move this way and we can able to apply and we can go for OK. So this is like a schedule performance index and cost to performance index. Normally it will be in a earned value topic. So here you can able to find those topic and we can able to put in our columns. Okay, and after this, there is one thing important. We can just go for enterprise tracking. So in tracking, you will be available with this window and here we can able to put the columns. So these columns I have like a customized. So we can just go for budget at completion, actual cost, earned value cost, planned value cost, and then estimate to complete estimated completion and then cost variance and schedule variance and schedule performance index and then cost performance index so you can just go for column and customize and here you can able to get all those things so we can directly go for earned value on everything whatever you want you can just uh, select and then you can go for this arrow it will come this way and you can able to make use of this arrow to reorganize it and you can click ok now that's what i have already did it so now we are getting the result and here we can just go for seeing the curves by default the curves won't be like this i'm just going for profile setting uh, uh, by default it will be only having these two options nothing else so it will be like this but and also like it is having a so this is what it will be like by default now if you want you can just uh, customize it so I'm just going for baseline and also actuals and I'm just going to apply. You are getting those two S curves and also I'm just going for show earned value cost, planned value cost, earned value cost, estimated completion cost and I'm just going to apply. Now you are getting all those in your graph.